Hi everyone, it's Hazel and welcome to another video. First of all, I want to thank you all because we have already reached 2,000 subscribers. And I want you to know that I do appreciate your continued support. And if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to share my videos because you never know whom you're going to help by sharing. So again, thank you so much for all your love and support. Okay, so moving on, in today's video, I'm going to share to you my recipe to a flavorful meal. It's not the um, bouillon, it's not all the salt that you add into your dish, but it's something that is natural, it's something that you already have in your kitchen. And the ingredients to my recipe, these are all basic, you use it every day in your cooking, you use it to saute your food and give that nice aroma to your dish. So before I move on to my recipe, I want to answer two questions related to our video for today. And that is... So thank you so much for those questions. First of all, there is no one-size-fits-all diet when it comes to chronic kidney disease. What do I mean by that? It means that my diet may not be the best diet for you. It may not be a diet that is most suitable for you, okay? Second of all, you need to speak to your dietitian. If you don't have one, ask your doctor about salt intake. But what I can tell you is that when it comes to salt intake, the daily recommended diet is one teaspoon, which is this size. So this is the recommended amount of daily salt intake, okay? Now there's also what we call sodium. What is the difference between sodium and salt? Salt is this, it's what you add to your food, okay? And sodium, on the other hand, is something that is already in your food, it's processed. I don't eat processed food like bacon, ham, sausages, and so on and so forth. Foods that are found in packages are considered high sodium food, but the way to find that out for sure is to look at the label. Ready to go meals or microwavable foods have sodium content, whether it be meat, bread, pancakes, muffins, and anything that's in a package. However, there are better options like fresh fruits and vegetables because they contain low sodium. And for your information, everything has sodium in it, but pre-packed foods like frozen foods have higher sodium in them. So for CKD patients like me, it is better to choose fresh food for a chance to slow down the progression of the kidney disease. And that is why I prefer to eat fresh vegetables because they have low sodium content and they've really been helping me throughout these years to slow down the progression of my CKD. And I do believe that a plant-based diet helps one's overall health. So I hope that that is clear to you. And if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I really love reading all your comments. I would love to answer more questions. So please don't hesitate to do so. So one of the challenges that I face being a CKD patient is that my food doesn't have taste. It's bland. And because of that, I've created a sauce that's going to add flavor into my dish. And the secret is in this jar. It's in this jar. So what's in this jar? I'm going to share to you my secret and I hope you watch it till the end of the video. Growing up in my home country in the Philippines, we always have sauce for whatever kind of dish we have on the table. These sauces or condiments have such great flavor when added onto a dish, but they are too salty. 
Now, when it comes to takeout food, they also have these sauces. And again, these are not in my kidney diet, so avoid these as well. So instead, I switched to a sauce that is made of fresh ingredients. This sauce recipe is made of fresh garlic, fresh ginger, fresh onion, freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm also using some spicy pepper, whichever you want. I'm using green long pepper because that's what I have right now. If you don't like spicy, you can take that out. But if you love spicy, you can make use also of serrano, Jamaican pepper, or jalapeno, whatever you want. All these fresh ingredients are high in vitamin C. They are antioxidants and immune boosters. It's very easy to make. Just cut up or mince all the ingredients. And when you're finished doing that, just put all the ingredients in a blender or if you have a food processor, you can use that as well. Into the mixture, I also add sweet rice vinegar, low sodium soy sauce, some Dijon mustard, and lots of olive oil. Just simply puree everything until you get a smooth, saucy, thick texture. Mmm, smells good. Smells delicious. Mmm. Like this can last for at least two weeks I mean I don't use it all the time and this is potent by the way you can just use one teaspoon I scoop actually I use one teaspoon each time it's very potent so you don't have to put a lot in your plate and you store it in the refrigerator so that it can last longer try this recipe and I promise you that it's going to add flavor into your meal okay video for the day. Until next time. Bye.